Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we'll be reflecting on the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verse 5 to 11. When some were speaking about the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, he said, As for these things that you see, the days will come when not one stone will be left upon another, all will be thrown down. They asked him, Teacher, when will this be? And what will be the sign that this is about to take place? And he said, Beware that you are not led astray, for many will come in my name and say, I am he, and the time is near. Do not go after them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things must take place first, but the end will not follow immediately. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places, famines and plagues, and there will be dreadful portents and great signs from heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection In the Gospel, Jesus teaches us an important message on how there is an end to everything. No matter how beautiful or appealing material things may be, the day of judgment is something that only God truly knows. However, we are reminded not to be terrified on the apocalyptic signs of such events that would come to the world. We should be more dedicated in keeping our faith in the Lord in the midst of persecutions, false prophets and temptations, which will challenge and question our faith. Despite all the possible tribulations that we may encounter, as long as we remain steadfast in our faith, God will always be with us. As said by the Apostle Paul, faith is one of the key attributes of being in eternal life. No matter what happens in the future of the world, be it earthquakes, famines, wars and more, if we embody Jesus' example and persist in our faith, a life of comfort and happiness in the kingdom of heaven will seek us through. Prayer Heavenly Father, as your beloved children, we surrender ourselves to you. Set us free from the fear of the unknown that underlies in our hearts and help us to overcome the persecutions and temptations that would surely challenge us as we continue on our journey of living out your will. Even in the most perilous of encounters, we will strive to remain steadfast in our faith. We will also use this in order to support and promote holistic education that will enable each of us to develop the values and principles to serve you. We offer to you, Lord God, all the glory and praises and all that we may achieve through your name. We only humbly ask that when the time of judgment comes, you, O oh Lord, will be merciful and gracefully grant us the everlasting life. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.